Hey everybody, happy Saturday morning. I didn't want to go radio silent on everybody, but uh, you know, I don't know if you've heard, there's not a lot of content to film lately. Um, and I'm not going to say the magic C word, so we're going to call it the uh, Cornholio dealio. So, um, because uh, if you do say that magic C word, you uh, face the risk of uh, demonetization and uh, having a video stop. So. The, uh, the Cornholio Delio has uh, kind of put a damper on things. Last week, uh, we did film a video opening up uh, MRE in the park, do a little picnic in the park. Two days after filming that video, all national parks were uh, closed in Florida, so you can't go to the park now. Um, you can go to the, the county parks, you can still walk around and everything as long as you're maintaining social distancing, being responsible. Um, this is my friend, by the way. He lives out on the patio here with me. Um, He's got a uh, charger on the top, so uh, he can light up and everything as well. So the other thing this week, I uploaded a video with uh, the last trip that we made to spring training for the Mets, which was weeks ago. You know, obviously Major League Baseball postponed their season a couple weeks ago, and they've since uh, donated a tremendous amount of money to uh, the people that work at the ballparks, like concessions and uh, stuff like that. that normally wouldn't be getting paid, as well as Fanatics and Major League Baseball uh, repurposing their uh, jersey material and operations to make masks uh, for workers. Um, but we uploaded the video from spring training and so many people took it like I was at a spring training game uh, last week or during this week. And uh, you know, obviously the season's been postponed four weeks. Um, you would think that some People may have like the common sense to put two and two together, but uh, it didn't uh, resonate. Uh, so we got a ton of comments like, hey asshole, or hey moron, you're a moron for going to the, the park uh, during this pandemic. And uh, it wasn't so, I mean, but then again, we do get a lot of comments on the videos where uh, like Halloween Horror Nights, where people genuinely believe that what's happening at Halloween Horror Nights is real. So um, we had Jack uh, blending up victims and legitimately we have 18 million views on this video where the vast majority of comments are people believing that uh, Jack the Clown has blended a uh, human being so in any event it's uh, it's a very early 12 o'clock uh, noon and uh, I'm gonna have some breakfast so I figured we did have a pretty decent response on the uh, MRE video, so I'm going to have breakfast with you, talk to you a little bit, but we're going to have a little bit unconventional-wise. Um, I am going to make this uh, breakfast skillet. This is not uh, necessarily an MRE. It's not ready out of the package to eat, um, but uh, it's not a full meal, I would say, but I mean, this is basically scrambled eggs, hash browns uh, with pork sausage and, and peppers and onions. It's freeze-dried, so this is a little bit different than the one that we had the other day where everything was fresh uh, and just maintained fresh in their, their package with preservatives. This one you need to add water to. So in order to add water, I am going to use uh, some boiling water, but I'm going to use it from uh, this thing. This is a little camping stove, kind of self-contained jet boil. This may be new to people that normally watch our channel, uh, but probably not very new to uh, people that backpack or camp, etc. This is a really crazy cool stove in the fact that um, this piece comes off. This is a uh, little measuring cup that you can use. This top comes off. Um, this is a stand for propane that's in here. This is the little stove gimmick itself. You can see it's got a little folded handle here to let the propane go. And within here as well, we have um, the propane can. So the only thing that you can really do with this jet boil that is um, cool in and of itself is it boils water. So you want coffee in the morning. I mean, even if you had this in the back of your truck or car or um, van, etc., you could always pull over to a rest stop or somewhere and just boil your own uh, water. This thing uh, doesn't put a pot or anything on here, but for a little bit extra money, you can add uh, a uh, attachment that, let me turn this out this way. Da -da 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 -da. Look at this thing on here. You can uh, securely put one pot at a time or a frying pan, etc., to be able to make any other types of meals. So I'm gonna set this thing up and show you what it looks like. The stove mechanism just simply screws 
onto the top. And we've got that in place here, as you can see now. Um, this cup eventually will just lock on here. And there's a couple of little nubs on the inside here, as well as some holes that you can see. So this will eventually kind of plop in here, screw, fit in, and then you just basically have your unit. I'm going to take this thing off. This holds uh, two cups of water or so, and inside, I know you're never going to be able to see this line uh, that's in here, but maybe um, there's a cutoff line for how much water you can put in. So I've got a water bottle, my water in here. And I'm going to connect this bad boy. The cup also has this top here, so you could either pour water out of the spout, um, or you could use the, the top. There are accessories that you can use, like a coffee press, etc. But we're going to make coffee just a little bit old fashioned style. All right, so we got this thing lit. As you can hear, it is. Crazy fast. And what we'll see here, on this side, you have these clear stripes. Once the water's boiling, and it does take like just over a minute or so, these are going to change colors to let you know that the water is hot enough to use. In the meantime, we're going to open this guy up. quick huh the outside here is still warm but it's not boiling hot where you can disconnect and we can put the water that we need inside this package and we need one and a half cups All right so you could either use this as a measuring cup to put the water in can do that. Uh -huh. So we've got one cup. And that is hot. Whoo! I knew that was gonna happen. I'm gonna put in a half a cup. So, right now, this is what you look like. You got some mush, but we're gonna stir this bad boy. Oh, it smells pretty good. Mm. It does smell good. Close this guy up. I'm gonna wait four minutes, stir again. So we put that off to the side. And in the interim, coffee. The best part of waking up. Instant coffee crystals. I've got my cup. I'm gonna put my crystals in. And the rest of my hot water.
not quite a cup here so we've got coffee I'm gonna show you guys and what I'm gonna use that I didn't use the other day while we were out I've got my leftover creamer and uh, my sugar packet from when we were out at the park the other day so put some creamer in here gotta put some sugar in here and give this guy a stir and the day is looking up already so in a couple videos ago I asked uh, while we were walking around the park if you guys want to do a live stream I am going to try to do that live stream uh, tomorrow maybe by the time they see this video it might be today but we're going to shoot for Sunday uh, we did want to shoot for during the week uh, but things get in the way um, this weekend we were originally supposed to be like potentially heading to New York to go see uh, the Mets opening day should have been a couple days ago and I am sweating already I'll tell you what it is 86 degrees outside here then we were looking to go to uh, Savannah and surprisingly enough like the hotels in Savannah were still open we canceled our reservation uh, just two days ago to go back to Thunderbird which we loved going to the Thunderbird if you guys are interested you should um, check out the video that we can link up here last time we went up there uh, but they're still open. The majority of places are all still takeout and curbside, etc. So there's uh, there's not as many cases of the Cornholio Delio there. Um, but um, we didn't want to be walking around the streets with people. I think you know going to a park where there's a lot of distance is uh, one thing. Going to uh, condensed city and sidewalks where everybody are is uh, a different thing. So um, we didn't go. And uh, just like much of uh, other things, uh, plans are canceled. So, so far, you know, this past week, Welcome to Rockville was announced that it's canceled. So there's no Rockville for us in the future. Um, you could either get refunds or you could apply your ticket price to next year. Um, Earth Day Birthday uh, with Shinedown and Hailstorm and Fozzie uh, was moved out to September. So that was just rescheduled, but they did lose a couple of their bands. Um, we... So we also had the Rolling Stones that got postponed um, indefinitely again for us. Um, so we've got tickets. Next show I think that's coming up is um, Motley Crue with Poison and Def Leppard and Joan Jett. That's in July, but the tour starts in June. So I'm kind of anticipating that that show is going to be um, either postponed or canceled altogether too. I just kind of see this stuff coming down the line. I don't think, I think where everybody is focused on theme parks reopening and everything, I, I foresee uh, things going a little bit longer, what I mean a little bit, probably a lot bit, because it's not like this is just going to magically disappear altogether. Um, I think we're going to be seeing Cornholio uh, at least through, um, at least prevalent through September time period at least, um, you know, possibly longer, becoming more seasonal. Um, and uh, it just thoughts um, and based off of how long it's taken other areas um, so you know I, I, I don't see theme parks and stuff opening up at least until June at this point you know end of May June all right so we're gonna open this guy and give him another stir Kind of like one giant mush at this point. And this bag does get hot. So we are going to close this guy back up and then we wait another eight minutes. So, of course, the other thing that got canceled was WrestleMania. And uh, I had said all along I had no plans on going and uh, I did not have plans initially to go. Uh, but then Drew, our friend Drew from Inside Universal, had a ticket. I was going to go with him to be his uh, plus one. And uh, anyway, things fell through. 
Uh, more disappointing, uh, I'm disappointed about WrestleMania, but more disappointing was that uh, WrestleCon was going to take place in Tampa this uh, coming week also, and that would have uh, involved meeting Bret Hart for the first time. Bret Hart's my favorite uh, wrestler of all time, and uh, he was part of WrestleCon, but everything got canceled, so um, literally like everything is canceled, you know, um, people are either working from home or they're just not working. Uh, we've done curbside takeout a couple times from some of our favorite local places. Um, and one of our favorite places, um, Hollerback Willow Tree in Sanford, even uh, explained to us that like they had, had let go 90% of their staff um, because they, you know, they expanded and we started going there when they were much smaller and they had expansion after expansion and um, fantastic place, but um, they're, they're not doing business. They're doing like 10% of their normal daily take. And when you're not making money, you know, and you're a mom and pop place, you gotta let people go. Another place that we go to, Goodfellows in DeBerry. Um, shout out to those guys. They're, they're fantastic. My favorite Italian food, um, regardless of living in New York or um, Florida and uh, best pizza around and they're tried their struggle and to stay in business they got curbside outside as well where um, you can either order online or order on phone and they'll bring it out to you which of course you know anytime you do this curbside stuff it's another um, whole thing where you know you get the packages immediately hitting the uh, spray or you know or uh, and, you know the gel and then spraying whatever packages are coming home, replating everything, put in the microwave for a little bit, washing your hands again, getting rid of all the packages immediately. So um, it's uh, it's a whole thing. And uh, well, I'm just hoping that some of these places are able to weather the storm. Um, you know, especially the people that work for them. I hope they're able to weather the storm as well. Um, so thoughts are with everybody for sure. I'm going to taste this coffee and I am sure that this is going to burn because it is hot on the outside. Mm. That is exactly what you would think Folgers with uh, some MRE creamer would taste like. And I know I'm all over the place, but going back to wrestling, we do have friends that are in the business also and I hope everybody is staying safe. Um, these empty arena matches to me don't look like they're worth the effort in trying to put that entertainment together for people especially when you got to be close to everybody and everything and I know Wrestlemania was looking to be staggered and taped over days and everything too but you're still interacting with people that you got to put a lot of trust in and, and uh, assuming that they're not out interacting with other people as well so um, I just want everybody to stay as safe as possible and distant as possible from others. Uh, I did see that uh, like Roman Reigns is off the card because of his uh, immune deficiency at this point from having leukemia and then there's other people that can't travel and um, everything is a mess. It's a mess. All right, this thing's got like another minute to go. And then I'm going to dump it into my uh, little Stanley bowls that come in the cook set of Camping Cookware Delio. All right, I dumped this mess out into some of the bowls. This is what it looks like. So maybe, maybe not the most advertising thing to you, but we'll see how it tastes. I'm gonna give Mary a, a ball off camera too. She's not camera ready today. So <laughs> try this thing out. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. I would eat this. Heavy on the hash browns. Yeah, a lot of potatoes. No. Let's see. It's going to say a lot of salt. There you go. Yeah, a lot of salt. For me, at least. I just looked at the packet. 980 milligrams of salt. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> what will my horse eat? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of salt. Would you like to try the best part of waking up? No. That's good. It's good in a pinch, but I'd rather eat regular food. <laughs> yeah. But imagine, instead of being on this patio, 
walking out by a stream or some water. Eating breakfast. Yeah. With water that's boiled in like a minute. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Which absolutely makes your coffee way too freaking hot. <laughs> well, give it a couple of minutes and it'll be cool. Mm. That's neat. So it's not bad. It's um, the cost on these guys, these mountain house. Um, you can get these at Walmart or any sporting goods store. They vary, but they're somewhere around like seven bucks a piece. So seven bucks for breakfast. It legitimately feeds two. So, you know, probably roughly the same cost as going to like McDonald's or something before you go out if you were able to. Pretty cool. Unless there's a McDonald's in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. You can stock them up. These things last. The best buy date is uh, June wow. 2049. That's crazy. So, you know, just think in case of emergency, especially if you're in Florida and uh, you want to have stuff on hand just in pouches and things. Like the pouches themselves are good and they sell them in big sealed buckets too. So, like, mm -hmm. nothing can get to them, no moisture and stuff. So, anyhow, I'm not going to keep selling everybody on these things because it's obviously it's just what we're doing to kill time. But if you guys are interested, I'll look for links uh, for this stuff on Amazon also. You know, we keep this in the van. But, um, you know, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of this stuff, I'll put affiliate links down below and you can check it out. I did see um, when we did the MRE uh, last week, a couple of you guys looked at the links. You can get all kinds of crazy metrics with the Amazon um, affiliate program. So it was like 73 people click links. Five people actually made purchases on the uh, MREs. And uh, the just so you guys should know, this is not a get rich quick anytime soon thing. But out of the five purchases that were made uh, for MREs where people wanted to taste them, uh, we ended up with a single dime. So we were dime richer. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm making my way through my uh, delayed breakfast here, brunch. Um, the other thing to talk about is Halloween Horror Nights. And we haven't talked about Halloween Horror Nights for a long time. This is the big anniversary year. Everybody was so excited and looking forward to uh, maybe the return of Jack, maybe the other icons, maybe a brand new icon. Um, and um, I'm wondering how much is going to be put on ice. All right, so um, Paul from... Iowa Geek and myself probably do a video very soon, uh, talk a little bit more in detail about um, the impact of uh, Cornholio Delio and uh, how it may impact um, Halloween Horror Nights and also other haunts. Um, Trans World, which we went to last year, and you can check out the video up here, um, is like the, the biggest trade show for haunts you know so people that are putting on the haunts go out there and purchase their wares and like masks and animatronics and fog and all that good stuff um they canceled that show this year originally postponed it first they were going to have it then they postponed it and now it's punted all the way until uh next year so one more thing that was um impacted but i'm thinking um, as this thing lingers on through uh, the end of the summer and beginning of fall, etc., there's a lot of things that normally um, breed um, colds or flu type symptoms and things like that from um, uh, the haunts with the stuff in your face, right? So you're going through the curtains, you have like little dangly things, the webs, and all this other stuff, and you're working, especially at Halloween Horror Nights, more so than even the independent haunts. You are so conga lined together um, between other people. Um, or potentially touching walls and things like that um, in the dark when you're not seeing what you're touching um, that uh, I wonder if these things are in jeopardy for the year. I certainly hope not because that's one of our biggest things to do every year um, but uh, that's been on on the mind here so in any event I'm going to uh, finish my brunch I'm going to put all of the items back into the jet boil we're going to wrap up um, we're going to do more cleaning. The house is going to be more clean than it's ever been 
uh, before. And hopefully we'll clean it off in like the den and everything too so you guys can see all of the wonderful Star Wars stuff uh, behind us again very shortly. But for now I'm going to sign off. Thanks a lot for joining me for my meal and listen to me ramble on. Um, and uh, I will put out into stories on uh, YouTube when we'll be doing uh, live type events or tweeted out as well under um, the View from the Cheap Seats uh, Twitter account or on the Facebook page as well. So get everybody together and hang out a little bit, kill some time, um, and become better friends. So thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.